Hey, what's up YouTube? So today I'm going to be showing you how you can connect your PS4 controller or PS5 controller to your PC for Modern Warfare 2. So first things first, you're going to want to take your controller, whether it's a PS4 controller or a PS5 controller, and you're going to want to connect it to your PC via Bluetooth. So in order to do that, you're going to go into the search window right here, type in Bluetooth, and you're going to click on Bluetooth and other devices settings. Once this opens up, you're going to click on add a device and it's going to have three options, Bluetooth, wireless display or dock, everything else. For this one, you're going to want to click Bluetooth, the first one right there. And then you're going to see all these devices um, in order to put your controller into discovery mode. You're going to want to hold down the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time and then you'll see it pop up so here we go holding both buttons down at the same time and you're gonna see your controller start to flash like that when it's flashing it means it's searching um, so you're gonna see something that says wireless controller just go ahead and click that and once it's synced or once it's paired this light will turn solid so that's how you know when it's connected. Go ahead and hit done and close this window out. Next, what you're gonna to wanna to do is click on the link down below. This is gonna be the download link for the software. You're gonna to wanna to install and run the software called DS4. So you're gonna go ahead and scroll down. This is gonna be the latest version. You're gonna to wanna to download the zip format here. Go ahead and save it. And once it's saved, go ahead and extract the file. So once you have the files downloaded, it's gonna look something like this. Uh, go ahead and just right click it and then click on extract here. And once you extracted the files, you'll have a DS4 Windows folder that looks like this. Double click it and then double click on the program to run the program. So this is what my program looks like. Um, it's already set up to PS4, but I'll go to default. Once everything's connected, um, even wirelessly, your controller should be recognized by the software. So at this point, you could go ahead and fire up Modern Warfare 2 or Warzone 2, and everything will work as is. Um, Another option you can do is selecting a profile. In order to select or create a profile, go ahead and hit this profile tab. You're gonna click on new. It's gonna ask you, do you want to use a preset option? Choosing no will cause the profile editor to use empty gamepad profile. Just hit yes. And this is gonna apply uh, some settings, some presets. This one says gamepad, choose your output controller to DualShock 4 and hit apply. And these are gonna be all your default settings here. Go ahead and name your profile, whatever you want. I'll just name it PS4. Or you know what, we'll name it PS5, just in case you had a PS5 controller. And don't forget, under touchpad, be sure you click on the touchpad tab right here, which is gonna be this right here. And if you wanna make sure your map opens up in Warzone or you can see the scoreboard in multiplayer, go ahead and change this output mode from mouse to controls and be sure pass through click action DS4 mode is clicked. Other than that, you could change the colors of the light that you have on your controller, but I'm gonna leave it as is. Don't forget, hit save. In order to activate that specific profile, be sure you go back to your controller tab right here and then under selected profile, change this from default to PS5 or whatever profile you named. As long as this is running and doesn't say start on it, you are good to go. If it says start, you're gonna need to click start in order for this profile to work. For example, I'll hit stop, now it's disconnected. Hit start, now it's connected. All you need to do is hit the X button all you need to do after this is just minimize it and it's gonna hide down in this little startup menu section. And that's gonna be it. This was a short and sweet tutorial on how to connect your controller to your PC for Warzone 2. I hope it helped. If it did, be sure you leave a thumbs up. Be sure you subscribe to the channel for more content and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.